Hey guys, don't go anywhere. I'm about to get back into my Muay Thai gym over at Defiant. Why don't you come along and check it out? Okay guys, I'm here at Defiant Gym and I am about to get my ass seriously whooped by my old coach, Daniel. He is amazing. Let's head on inside and let's go get some ass kicking on. Come on. Ooh, I'm about to get really worked, I can tell. It's going to be tough. This is the first time I'm gonna actually be throwing kicks and hitting mitts in almost a year. So it's been a while, maybe even a little bit longer. All right guys, this is Daniel. Daniel Gutierrez, owner and head coach over at Defiant Gym. Hey, how are you? It's uh, been a while since I've been training with him, so he's gonna kick my ass some seriously thing today. <laughs> but it's good to be back inside Defiant and working out over here. So you're gonna watch me get my ass kicked. <laughs> Wrapping up my hands, I begin to realize that it's actually been longer than a year since I've been here at the gym. It's probably been about a year and a half to maybe even two years since I've worked out with Daniel, and I really look forward to today's workout. I know I'm gonna get worked, but it's gonna feel great in the end, and I'm glad that I'm incorporating this back into my life and it's a little bit of me time because hitting those mitts is, allows me to be able to just shut the world out and just kind of focus on myself. Now usually I like to take about a good 20 to 30 minutes even sometimes to warm up before hitting the mitts just to make sure that I don't injure myself and it's very easy to do so especially as we get older. You know turning 48 you can never be too cautious but today I don't have as much time so I take about 15 minutes and I do incremental periods of jump rope for three minutes on one minute off and then I go into shadow boxing after that and get the body moving and get it warmed up before we start hitting the mitts. Going into the shadow boxing, I definitely feel that extra weight on my body that I gained since January to do this challenge. Although I didn't gain the full 50 and I was able to gain 44 pounds, I still have about a good 25 pounds left, I believe. We'll know once I get, be able to do my weigh-in and I can definitely still feel it on my body and it's slowing me down, throwing off my balance, throwing off my range, even in my hit, and especially throwing off my kicks. Even though I've got a lot more flexibility back in me, you know, I still don't have that type of length and stretch with the kicks. So it's all things that I'm going to have to work on and I'm looking forward to really taking the time to invest in myself again and get that back into my life. After putting on the gloves, again, being cautious, we start off with the paddles. It's a nice way to be able to get some range and targeting work done without adding a lot of stress to the joints and to the ligaments and to the tendons. So it's a good way to be able to get some flow on. I can definitely feel that extra weight on my body. It's affecting my breathing. It's even affecting my stance. It's affecting the way that I'm throwing my punches and even bringing my hands back to protect my face and even my jaw. So some of the things that I'm gonna have to really get back into creating that system and making sure that I'm doing the form right but it's good to be here and we're working on it see this is old man shit right here tape elbow brace it's old man shit Finally, moving on over to the Muay Thai pads and being able to throw in full combinations with punches, elbows, and kicks is definitely turning it up. And I can feel it in my core. I can feel it in my entire body. And I can especially feel it in my lungs. It's been a while since I've been throwing any type of full range combinations. So it'll be good to really use this as a great fat burner and weight loss supporter. And I definitely want to be able to make sure that I get my form back, my elongation, my range, and everything else. And especially my speed, because I'm definitely feeling that that extra weight still on my body and I'm looking forward to being able to shed it off. All right, so tell me how badly I sucked. You no. sucked. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, you did pretty good, man. Yeah. Dude, I, I sucked. No, Big you time. did pretty good. Right, right, right. No, he hung in there. And Muay Thai, you know, training itself is kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> First day back in what? Two years? Oh, God, yeah. Year and a half, forever. two years, yeah, right? Too, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to come back about two days a week. You guys are going to come along with me and we're going to see the gains and the goals. Now I'm really looking forward to incorporating this back into my life. And as a fitness professional, we can get very busy with our clients and very busy with our lives, especially as parents, and forget to do these things for ourselves, which is truly a gift to do. Being able to go ahead and get myofascial type stretching and massaging into the muscles is so huge. And if I don't do this type of foam rolling after doing a Muay Thai session, I really pay for it. I get really stiff in the hips, really stiff in the lower back, and you can feel the pain in the IT bands all along the legs and even in your core and in your in your upper body so being able to roll yourself out is makes a huge difference and when I do so I don't have that stiffness and I don't have that pain it really is a difference between night and day so if you're able to get this into your life and pick up a foam roller and start rolling yourself out especially if you're a desk jockey and you sit down all the time at a desk and get that lower back and hip pain 
this will make a huge difference for you. And I swear by it. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. So guys, that wraps up today's session. I am going to go ahead and say my goodbye to you and ask you if you did like what you see and you what you've been learning here on the 180 and 90 to hit that like button. Go ahead and get a subscription to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. So hit the subscribe button. You know how that gets me pumped up to go ahead and produce these videos daily and put new content on here to help inspire people to get back into shape. And also hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time we put up a new video and you can watch it when it's hot off the press. Hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season. Remember that it's never a better time than now to start getting back into shape and focusing on your health and your fitness. And I will see you tomorrow on the 180 and 90. Take care.